What's up, sheeplets of the interwebs? I am back for another episode. This time, I'm playing a different game. I'm actually not going to be playing Minecraft. I'm going to be playing Creativeverse. It's a sandbox voxel game similar to Minecraft, but from what I've heard, it, have, it has its own unique differences. That makes the game quite fun to play, and I've seen some Let's Plays on it. Not too much. I don't know a lot about the game. But I've played maybe for about like half an hour. I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys will enjoy me playing it. So let's get straight into it. And I just made a wor world. I did not do anything in it. If you want to play this game, you can purchase it on Steam. However, do note that when it is released finally, because it's an alpha, it will be free to the public. And you're only purchasing it so you can get the uh, ahead of time advantage, I suppose. But as you can see, it has very good graphics, much better than Minecraft. I'm actually using uh, quite low res and be uh, worse quality. But in this game, uh, you won't, you can't actually craft a crafting station in the, uh, without a crafting station. So you may be wondering, how do I get a crafting station? So at the very top of the bar, you'll see this like little compass thing, and the gear is pointing towards the closest naturally spawned crafting station so if we want to head there we can go get it first off I'm gonna get some wood and what I'm looking for right now is crag crags wood because uh, from what I've could see it's in a lot of crafting ref recipes so we're gonna be looking for that also you cannot actually like punch animals with your normal fist you have to actually click tab and you'll see in the bottom left the icon or orange to something else so you can't just uh, go straight into PvP so that gives it a slight difference from Minecraft, and I think it actually makes the game harder. Oh, I have not actually seen this animal before. What is it? Chizard. Let's fight it. Okay. You no, know, it almost sounds like Charizard from Pokemon. I don't know if you guys played that. But let's just kill this thing. It's like a little chicken Charizard. Wait, does it fly? Oh, it flies! Okay. It's actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. I really hope I don't die right now. Oh, okay. So when you kill a mob, it drops a loot bag instead of all its loot everywhere. And you can just pick it up, and you can just uh, click F to interact. And as you can see, I got a bone, leather, and brown mushroom. And brown mushrooms are used in crafting recipes, and I would like to take them. Now, brown mushrooms are actually hidden in dirt, as you can see right here. So I'm just going to click tab, and pick it up. Also, if you, you can see that, like, when you pick up the block, it looks way cooler than in Minecraft. It's a little different to get used to, but I really like it. And, I don't know, it just seems like a really cool change. Oh, uh, wait, is that water? Ice? What, what is that? I don't know. Wait, did I pass the, uh, graphic station? Is it that close? Let's just head, oh, whoops. Okay, let's just, uh, oh, here it is. Here is the crafting station. Now, if you, you can't pick it up right now until you have a better, uh, like, grabber thingy. And that's actually in your tab. You'll just have to place it in there. Now, as you can see, this is a thing. Now, right here, the one I'm, uh, circling, that's the, uh, thing that will let us pick this up and other stone. Because you can't naturally get stone. You can only get dirt, wood, leaves, so-and-so. Now as you can see we need cragwood, dirt, and vines. Uh, does it make sense? Not really, but let's do it! So, first off we're going to need to find cragwood. And at, bot at the bottom of some cragwood trees, you will find vines. It'll basically look like this, except for it'll have the texture of the cragwood. So this is moss, so it's not what we're looking for. So we're looking for a cragwood tree with like green texture at the bottom, and that'll give us the vines. And it, uh, the normal cragwood will help us get the wooden power cell. And as you can see here, this is a cave. Now, caves will spawn dangerous mobs because of, I think, light level. I think that's, that's similar to Minecraft in that way. I'm not absolutely positive. Um, this game is really new to me. So, I'm a little thrown off. Some of the commands are different. And, I mean, there are some slight changes. But the graphics are stunning. Oh, yes, this is a cragwood tree, I think. Let's check this out. As you can see, this is a vines I was talking about. Yeah, this is it. This is a cragwood tree. It's as big as a jungle tree. 
And I like the trees better than this texture pack. Uh, texture pack. Wow. That's what I think this game is. No, I'm I'm saying this game is actually very different to Minecraft in many different aspects. And some good, some uh, make the game more challenging, and some might think that's it's bad. But I, I'm liking a lot of these new aspects. No, I'm not really liking this, like, glitch. Like, it's, it's not there. Where is it? Come on. It was just happening. Okay, so now it's not gonna work. Let me just see if I can find it. It's like when you're pulling out the block, you can kind of see the edges around it. But sometimes it just makes it look like it's air when it's actually like blocks behind it. But like, like, just as I start talking about it, it's gone. It just like doesn't happen. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you saw, but like on the edge here, instead of actually showing the wood block, it was like showing air. And I'm actually not liking that so far. So I'm hoping that gets changed rather quickly. From what I've heard, the game updates frequently and the mob developers are listening. So, that's good to know. Oh, one thing I like uh, with the uh, new tab to uh, switch what item you're going to try using is that you, you can actually like place blocks with your sword still in your hand. So, as you can see, we have two orange things, one of them pointing to the different items. So, if I want to place that block, I can place it. So, I think that's cool. And I think that might be useful when you're trying to like fight and defend yourself. You can like place blocks to wall yourself off while attacking the mobs. And uh, I think that that'll be a cool change. Oh, another thing that I would like to say is I do not like is that the leaves do not deteriorate. De deteriorate. And um, because I'm a Minecraft player, that bugs me because then I'm just gonna have floating treetops everywhere. And unless I take down an entire tree, like, thing of leaves, it's gonna be hard. Like, imagine having to do that with every single jungle tree. Except for the jungle trees have extra blocks. Oh, uh, as you can see, like, right here, this is what I was talking about. Like, at the very left side, right there, you can see that it's air instead of, like, the wood block. It's not a huge thing to notice, but, like, when you're mining, it can be very pesky. Now... Because I'm a Minecraft player, I'm just going to try to take down this whole tree. But uh, I don't think that's the best thing, best thing to do. Because it won't really matter. I don't plan on staying in this area. Oh, I completely forgot to mention. In my inventory, right here, in the very first lot, you'll see a touchstone. And you can place that down and you can teleport to there. So, like, you can be out adventuring and you just need to come back real quick. It takes about five seconds, I believe, to teleport back to your home. That is very useful. And you can place another one, and then you can like make a match uh, by using blocks, or if those are the only two on the server. Then you will be sent back there, and then you can travel back to where you've uh, teleported from. And one cool thing about this is it is so much easier to play with your friends. Because when you create a world, it's a server. Like, it, it is a legitimate server, and it's that easy. You're done. You just made yourself a server. You just give your friends the password, the name, and they could just get into your uh, Creativeverse server. Now, that does mean you might want to have your password kind of protected. Like, it can't be like a simple one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah password. It might actually need to be something creative. But you should be ha doing that no matter what anyways. But that's just something you might want to know. Now, I believe I got this game for like $10.99. Something along the lines of that because it was on sale. So that is very useful. Uh, if you want to know, you can get this game on Steam if you didn't know already. And Steam is uh, basically a place where you can buy games and such. It's very good for PC gaming. A lot of people use it. I don't know how you haven't heard of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it. Just explaining it so others who haven't just get to know. But for those who haven't heard of it, I don't know how you haven't heard of it. It's a huge thing. I actually have, I don't actually don't use it too often because I play Minecraft and modded Minecraft a lot and I don't really play other games. Sad face. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> and now I'm just playing another voxel game. Wow, look at me. I'm just a sandbox player. But now that we have our wood, I'm just gonna come back since I have my wood and my vines. I'm gonna go come back and, uh, what else do we need? 
we needed wood vines oh and grass so let's head back to the crafting station oh as you can see these are red mushrooms and if you pick these up you can actually eat them to heal hunger or you can make them to he make potions i think to heal uh more health because they don't heal a lot of health at this point i don't think i really need it no but when you do die just in case i do die it leaves a little like death marker like gravestone if you've ever played that mod in minecraft and then you can just go back to it and all your items are saved there and it's cool it however it doesn't really uh it doesn't always spawn exactly where you died or so i've heard um they might have fixed that uh since i was watching that video but from what i know it can't oh it doesn't always like place it in the exact spot in which you died and we'll need to test that out um hopefully not on purpose because i don't want to be dying so let's just pick up some grass and let's make the wooden power cell and let's travel around in search of a good home or until nightfall comes and i get too scared to actually fight and hide in a hole for the entire rest of the video <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's gonna be exactly what happens i'm hoping it isn't but i'm gonna have to guess that it is because i really don't want to die wait we can make a sword what do you need to craft it let's just uh craft it oh if you do notice there was like a little timer that's because uh it takes time to actually craft all those stuff Ooh, we can't make a sword see that took you like a second uh the further you get the more the longer it takes and that's something you might want to know. Boom. 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 Now, as you can see, now I can pick up this crafting table. I can also mine stone, which I wasn't able to earlier. See, so watch this. Put that back. Cannot mine it. Whoops. Whoops. Wrong button. Put this back on. I just right click. Escape. And boom, we can pick up stone. This stone will be useful to us. Is it, is it, what, what is that? Do you see that? Like, oh, a flare. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like something hopping up there. I don't know, but like I'm free, I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty confident with my newly acquired sword. We might just have to chop it dead. So let's uh let's climb up here. Now I think that's pretty much the basics of what this game is. Oh, there isn't a food system, but there is a stamina system, so you can't just go sprinting off forever. You see there's a stamina system. There's a separate one that you use during, uh, when you're swimming. Ooh, snow. I'm really liking these textures. Okay, now let's figure out what these blue things are. Was it ice? Is it ice? I can't really tell. You can never tell this game that I've only been playing for a very short time. Ice. Yeah, it's ice. You can see right above my E thing that it says ice for a split second before I fall back down. So, that's what that is. And I think that's the HUD. And, huh, what else do I need to explain? Oh, this game is in alpha. I'm pretty sure I said that, but that means that there will be bugs that we will be finding. And it. this is why we play this and that is to help the developers know what bugs there are now you can see that there's another gear over off in the distance it's small and i'm gonna have to guess that means it's far away but we do want extra crafting tables and i don't want to make them because i'm really greedy with my resources because later in the game you will need to craft a lot of stuff and that stuff will take like five minutes each so the crafting table can hold like eight crafting items, I think. It can craft eight things at a time. Well, in its little bar. So if we want to go out mining, we can just like plate down like six crafting tables, all with that uh, one item crafting, and we can have a ton of stuff back when we're ready. Oh, wait. I forgot to explain another thing. You can actually jump two blocks. Two blocks! Is that crazy? That, that's crazy to me. That just seems really crazy to me. No? Okay. Ooh, let's kill this thing. Now that we have a wood sword. I can hack through this thing, right? Oh no, lag, lag, lag. Oh no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Oh no, did I die? Did I die? Oh, wow. 
that was actually a lot easier. A glob of goo. Um, okay then. Let's just take that. Um, I'm not doing too well on my food. So let's just put that back. And boom. Oh, right clicking does stuff automatically. Oh, it does let, oh no, it's turning night already. I'm not ready for this. Oh no, oh no. Um, let's just hide out in here. It's just a tab. Make like a little like hidey hole right here. That's what I was gonna say. Three and boom, boom. Okay, hidey hole. So um, let's just mine down. And uh, instead of making the normal staircase, I'm gonna go two down at a time because it's more efficient that way. Plus, I'm starting at the top of a hill because I didn't want to risk it. So, um, I'm just gonna keep going down here. This is gonna be temporary. Oh, fossils. I believe you can turn those into bones somehow. Um, by processing them in something. <laughs> like I said, I'm very new to this game. I don't know much. And I'll be exploring this game with you guys. And hopefully you guys are fine with that. And I'm not gonna be telling you what to do. We're just gonna be exploring. As you can see... Is it just me or like, it's like every single one of these doing that air block glitch thingy. It's very frustrating. Huh. I'm not liking that. Oh, and every like, something I like about this game is there are different layers you can like go to like in the earth. And you need to continuously upgrade your gear to get past those layers. Like, you can't just, like, skip to, like, you can't go to Minecraft and just skip, like, the iron thing. And just go straight to, well, not skip to iron. Like, you can't just, I don't know what to say. You pretty much need to upgrade the game at a pace that's kind of set. Otherwise, you're going to die in those layers because of the mobs. Or, it just gets increasingly difficult as you go further deep. So it's a lot more adventurous than survivally, and well, I guess it's more survivally than just like in Minecraft where you can just do whatever you want because it's easy. As you can see, we hit bedrock. This is not like Minecraft bedrock. This is a, the second layer, and after bedrock has, I don't even know. I, I'm new to this game still, but what I'm saying is it's different, I guess. <laughs> uh, but. Let's uh, find a good place to make our like base so far. I don't know if you guys are seeing okay. Um, I'm gonna try uh, If you guys can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna review the footage. Um, I'm probably gonna try to fix the lighting stuff using editing. Don't know how that's gonna turn out. Hopefully it works out well. But unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to hide down here for a while. And I actually didn't get any moss, which I should have gotten. Because if I had moss, I could actually make uh, lighting, torches, stuff, things, whatever. Limestone. Oh, limestone is part of the uh, bedrock layer, I believe. Oh, obsidian node. So we can actually uh, mine this out once we get the uh, machine we need. Because you can't actually mine like ores and coal and stuff without a uh, machine. And that's another cool thing that you have to have. It's also not cool because it's not instant. <laughs> so let's just uh, come in here. It's uh, right here, and I'm missing wooden and stone slabs, so I need to make this, using this, let's uh, boom, let's collect it, this machine, uh, which is in my inventory, so I just place it right here, this machine will process stuff, I guess, uh, wow, let's uh, let's not place it there, but let's move this stuff. Um, let's move it. Oh, where should we put it? Where should we put it? Let's put it in the wall. Let's put it in the wall on this side, I guess. Crafting station. And... Boom, boom. I should have picked that layer above. So I wouldn't have to worry about this limestone. But... Let's go to this processor. Place. Crafting station. Place. And let's make another processor. Boom, because we have all the stuff we need. 
Okay, so now that we have another one of those, place that there. Now let's uh, put there one. Let's just do all the wood. As you see, it looks like a saw blade, because it's like cutting it in half, sort of. And let's do the same thing for the stone. And then, after that, we can then make the, uh, whatchamacallit, the extractor, so that we can get the obsidian node. And now obsidian is something we will need. Blowing mushroom, oh, I can't mind that yet. Uh, so we can uh, extract this. So we need an extractor, take some time to extract it. The better the extractor, the more stuff you'll get, and the faster it goes. For what I think I know. Don't quote me on any of this information. It's a very bad idea to do that. So, actually, uh, as you can see, you get four from every uh, one of these slabs. Well, uh, you only get two from the stone slabs. So I'm just going to make more stone. Well, now let's go back over here. And let's try to make a ton of these uh, extractors because we'll need them. So as you can see there, I made a couple. Let's collect all those. Now that I have them, I'm just going to get three. Uh, let's just uh, place it like that. Oh, it's working. It's working. Now, uh... Now it's going to take five minutes. <sighs> this is where it takes a while. And uh, they actually set up a store for this. Uh, they got rid of it because people were complaining. But I have a feeling that... Uh, well, from what I've been hearing, a lot of people will think that they are going to bring it back right before release. So they can actually get money. Like, extra money. Well, not extra money. Money of this game. Because it's a free-to-play game. It didn't make somehow... Well, it's not free-to-play now. It will be free to play. So, I'm not sure. I'm really not liking that if they do do that. But, I think they got rid of it now because everyone who's playing has bought the game. And, that would be kind of unfair to the people that have. So, let's just hope that that's not what they're planning to do. I, I, that's what I'm hoping. Because... I don't know, I really don't want this game to be a pay to win. I mean, I haven't played this game long, but I'm thinking that if they make it a pay to win, it's just, it'll take the enjoyment out of it. But as you can see here, I'm just making a ton of these uh, extractors. Let's make, let's make all of them. Okay. Now, um, I guess we can uh, mine around and look for more nodes and stuff. I coal might be a good thing. Oh no, I'm actually running pretty low on my uh wood mining cell. So uh huh. A wood mining cell is sort of like a wooden pickaxe. And that means even if you mine stuff like dirt, it'll still take durability. So maybe we need we should watch out for that. Um okay, that's three minutes. Uh, I say we go to a higher level in mine, just so we don't run into limestone and bedrock. I think this will be a good layer. So, uh, let's mine. Hopefully we can get some coal so we can make torches. I think you need coal to make torches. Uh, a certain kind of torches. There's different kinds. Some are better than others. Uh, we could make moss torches, but that means we have to go back to the surface. And, um, I guess I will be back when I find something or uh when it comes to today because i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me mining so i will be oh no wait wait it looks like it's still night what the heck is that is that like a night pig thingy this is not a good layer to uh <laughs> mine off of apparently um we found this pretty quickly uh let's just uh put it back in my thing. Oh, items also stack to uh, 99, I believe. I don't know if it's every item, but I do know that's the, uh, mostly items do, at least from what I can tell so far. <clears throat> Anyways, I will be right back. And, guys, I am back! And, right now, I decided that before this episode ends, I will be able to get through that layer so well that might prob that's probably gonna take longer than four minutes pretty much how long we have in this video I decided 
that I'm just going to speed up until I make it to that point. And I will see you guys after that. So, let's go fast. And I am back! Don't know if you noticed, but I had a lot of trouble making you back here. Particularly because I forgot to do one thing. That is, I forgot to set this thingy down. Ooh. Back. Um. I don't, I don't care about that. I, I want to get my obsidian. Ah! I, want, I don't care about your touchstone. Okay. Okay. F! No! face okay now I have all the stuff I should I, wait I don't are you kidding me <sighs> wait stone what am I missing I ate my red mushrooms to get it back here <laughs> I will be back guys I'm bringing my red mushrooms <laughs>
Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. I okay, am back. Guys. For I am real back. this time. For real this I mean, time. For serious. I mean, for serious. I am finally back. I am finally back. back with yes, my mushrooms. I can craft yes, it. Can. I can yes. craft it. Yes. Yes. I did it. I did it. Oh, uh, yes. It's uh, wonderful. Yes, it's wonderful. That is. That uh, is so amazing. Uh, so amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Let's just uh put this back. Let's just uh put this back. Boom. Right click. Boom. Now. Right clicked. Now. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's oh, see. I get my bedrock. Oh, bed rock, I get my bedrock. Look guys. at this. Look at this. I guess. I guess we should be finishing off our episode. We should be finishing right off our episode. Wanna, right now, I just wanna quickly pick up the obsidian. Oh yes. Oh yes. So um. So let's um. Just let's just um. Um, let's see if there's any more obsidian. Let's oh see my if gosh, there's any more a lot of obsidian. obsidian. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of obsidian. Is this normal? Is this normal? Is there more of this? Okay, it looks like more. Oh wait, okay, it looks like. Oh wait. Even more. Even more. Even more, guys. Even more, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my hey, gosh. Don't anyway, get to eat. Like this. Don't get to eat. Like this. Please must see that. Please must see that. Don't forget to eat that like subscribe. Don't forget to eat that like subscribe. Come on, all the things you need. Come on, all the things you need. Come on, all. We will see you on our next episode. On our next episode.